Hello everybody, Preferred Selection here again. We are playtesting my crash test map, my Terraria custom, semi-custom map slash challenge run sort of idea thing. Back here doing more of that. Right now, we're going to fight the Eye of Cthulhu, as soon as it's night, because that seems like a fun thing to do. So if you've if you've not watched the other two episodes, just to give you a quick summary of what this is. Wandering Eye is probably going to be more of a, you know, more of a problem than... I don't really, yeah, I don't like that Wandering Eye being here. In fact, I might change the location of this fight a little bit. Come follow me in here. hit too much. Just way too much. Maybe this isn't the weapon to use. That seems fine. Yeah, the Eye of Cthulhu should be completely trivial in, in this challenge. I didn't expect to... I, I thought I'd just be able to, like, just chat and talk during it. But I am at he half health somehow, and I have actually, like, healed during the Eye fight. That's when you know you have problems, when you're healing during the Eye fight, and you're in hard mode. Okay. And one of these darn things made its way in, into here. Got some Crimtain Ore. It's handy. Can't really make anything we need out of it. I don't think I missed anything up there. Yeah. yeah, you float away. Yeah, Crimtain Ore is nice. Not sure if we're going to be able to do anything with it. I mean, I can... I need to kill the brain before I can make, like, uh, Crimson Pants or, or anything. So, not much use at the moment. This Palladium Pike is just not suiting it for me. I would so much rather have like a Thorn Chakram or something right now. That is one thing I, I think might be really hard to get on this map. I don't know if there is a Thorn Chakram. I know there's a Flame Rang somewhere in a chest. I don't know if there's a Thorn Chakram. Golden Key is a nice, Golden key is a nice drop. So... Yeah, the general gist of this map is that you are in hard mode from the start of your character. You have a castle full of NPCs, including very good ones like the Tinker, the Mechanic, to help you out. So you can get rocket boots like right away. You start out with a little bit of accessories and weapons just to give you some DPS so that you're not so that you're not like dying a hundred times trying to get like a iron broadsword or something. But aside from aside from having good weapons, you start at 100 health, pretty much no defense. So the idea is like, where can you go from there? What can you what can you do? You can fall down a lot on spikes. Is what you can do. Skeleton Mage Banner. Ah oh, man, dropped on my head. <laughs> Great. I'm picking bad chest open, so <laughs> I opened another uh, Muramasa lead of Blade of Grass combo chest. So now, if I want two Knight's Edges, I can make two of them. Except I'd have to go get a bunch of Hellstone. I did want to make sure that chest was redundant because I was so I thought it was such a brilliant idea to be putting a uh, putting a Blade of Grass into a hard mode map since it's so hard to farm up otherwise. That's annoying. Some copper and bones stuck in the wall. I'm amazed I can hit them while they're still in the wall. I guess hitting an enemy through a wall and in a wall is different things. Go ahead and heal up, because why not? Okay. 
Here we go, we get a light disc. Light disc is nice. I don't really know what we're gonna replace with it. Blue moon's useless to us, but eh, take it anyway. Doesn't seem like there's anything off of this room, so... Wonder if light disc is worth... I guess it's basically a thorn chakram. <laughs> Can't poison anything. But just one by itself, probably about as good as a Thorn Chakram. Might come back to you a little bit faster. Hard to tell. This room is, is tr tricky. I could just mirror out of here. It's not like I'm close to anything. I don't know why I'm bothering to pick up the spike. Get out of there at, at two health. <laughs> Maybe one health. I don't know if we were down to one health. So I forgot my mirror. So that's not good. Yeah, why did I go get this spike? I'm just gonna... These crimson seeds are worth a silver. That's valuable, man. The question is... Whoa. Yikes, I didn't even see that guy. Yeah, not bringing my piggy bank was a big mistake. Yeah, I like this way better. Even just at one light disc, I like it better than the... There we go. I like it better than the palladium thing. That's good. I'm, I'm glad that I feel that way because I was really worried that the... Palladium Pike that you get really early was going to make like a lot of the other treasures feel kind of obsolete. Yeah, I think I think I just need I need my piggy bank if I'm gonna be. <laughs> Hate to start an episode by digging. All right, digging up a bed and then mirroring, but yeah, forgetting my piggy bank was too is too big. Need it. If I can find it. Yeah, there it is. Some stars going on. I'm gonna sell a little bit of stuff. I don't I don't wanna do a ton of inventor inventory on camera, but I'm gonna sell a little bit of stuff. Maybe. No, I'm not going to sell things. I'm going to put things in chests. That's what I'm going to do. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. I can sell the, the blue moon. I'm never going to... Never in a million years am I going to equip a blue moon in, in this kind of scenario. Don't need the dungeon brick. I don't even really need the crimtain ore for now. I want both of my Mermosses in one place. <laughs> I don't know why. Now, where did they go? In here? Yeah. Dangerous Sense Potion would actually be a good one to drink. You know, these, these potions are actually pretty good, but I'm only going to take one of each because... resources. Pumpkin pie can go away. I've got so much healing on me. Okay, now I've got my piggy bank this time. Hopefully we can make it back to the dungeon at nighttime. Could be difficult. I've got my bed right. I've got my bed. Could be difficult to make it to the dungeon. There's so much dungeon that I, I want to keep going there. Just for a little bit at least. Maybe get another light disc. I think there's another light disc somewhere around in there. I'm pretty sure that I've got enough light, dis light discs on this map that if you found every single one of them, 
you would have like more than the max number that can go in a stack. But I don't actually know. That I know I started to put a lot. I know I started to put a lot around. That might sound like overkill by the way, but there's no way that you're like I don't think people find like a quarter of the chests that are on, on a map. Like you might think you do, but if you ever look in T edit, you'd be surprised. Can a, can a regular... Uh, yeah, I don't know if a regular mummy can drop anything I want. I know the... Maybe it can. I don't remember what mummies have. I should just dig up this... Oh! God dang it. That's exactly what that's supposed to do. <laughs> I was going to dig up that pressure plate, but I just slid a little bit. And... And, uh... If I even need to preface this with saying that, uh, not acting, <laughs> not being like, oh, I should do this and then blowing up, like, nope, that's just me making mistakes. Got way too close to it. You don't have to get that close to something to dig it up, obviously. Go get that loot now so it doesn't just like putrefy on the ground. I don't know why I use that word choice there. Loot doesn't exactly putrefy, does it? Kinda. It's not like it's gonna rot, it's just like furniture. I guess furniture can rot. Probably not. Well, I don't know. I kind of think of slime furniture as being like plastic, but maybe. I don't know. I don't know what slime furniture is made out of. I probably do not want to know either. Okay, so now this this is safe. These traps work. I've had this problem lately where I, I'll place I'll place like traps or something, and they'll be half blocks. Like, if I place them in T-Edit, they'll be half blocks for reasons unknown to me. But whatever. I'll steal this bookcase, too. I'm fine with those slime box, those frozen slime blocks being there. Where can this bookcase go? I'm being so sloppy with inventory management, things are just going wherever. But hey, now we have some dirt, so we don't need to use uh don't need to use sand to cover up spike drafts. It's kinda nice. Sorry, playing with my inventory open again. Do we have an aglet? I can't remember if we No, I don't think we have an aglet on this playthrough. Last playthrough, I found the aglet. That's right. It'd be nice to know where that was, because aglets are handy. Yeah, I, I started recording this on the last playthrough of the game that I did last playthrough of this custom map and I I just had a soda which sometimes it makes m me, me like uh, talk weird it sounds really strange like you don't really notice it but if you, if you have a soda kind of like I don't know kind of coats your mouth weird sorry if this, sorry if this is gross but soda can make it like hard for you to talk the way you normally talk just a little bit and normally you'd never notice it but when you're recording it's like I don't want to sound weird on on the first episode of a new series. I also didn't... I didn't do very well. I, I beat Skeletron, I think. But it took me like two nights to get around to doing it. Because I was talking too much, explaining too much. There's a lot of alternate takes that go into YouTube stuff. And a lot of uh, behind the scenes, fixing things. 
for me, that usually doesn't mean editing. I don't like to do a ton of editing, but... Even if I'm not doing editing, that... Like, the thing, that's the thing, if you don't like to edit, then you're completely starting over when you have something you don't like. Which is, is tricky. But that's the way I prefer to do things. I, I don't like highly edited videos, so instead of doing a ton of editing, if I don't like something, I start over. Which can be, can be good, can be bad. It, it, can, it can make it hard to do certain types of content. Like my Rogue Legacy series has kind of, I wouldn't say it's died yet. I might continue it still. But my Rogue Legacy series has been very difficult because I like parts of it, but there's also some really boring parts. <laughs> I hate to say that. Um, so there's stuff that I just like haven't uploaded because I didn't think it was good enough. And I, I should probably cut it up and do like multiple episodes of it. But I haven't gotten around to it yet. I haven't, I haven't decided what to do really with it yet. Because I've, I've got a ton of Rogue Legacy recorded. It just seems like it's the let's play that was never meant to be. Like, it was the first let's play I did on my channel, and then when I got 100 subscribers, I was like, alright, I'm gonna bring Rogue Legacy back. And I thought that just having more experience with recording would be enough that Rogue Legacy would go well, but it went okay, but it still wasn't like. I, f I feel like the Rogue Legacy stuff was entertaining and, and fine, but. But it, I, I, do, I know that it wasn't as good as my Terraria content, so I'm trying to figure out what to do about that. So I, I really don't want to be a one-game channel. Terraria is like one of my favorite games, but I still want to do like Magic, and I still want to do like new games that come out. And I've, I've got uh, you know like 150 games in my Steam list, so there's a lot of things that I. Even some things that people have requested, like Borderlands, Skyrim, those, those could all be possibilities. But for right now, they don't quite... I've, I've still never played Skyrim. I, I have it. I don't know why I have it. I think it was like a dollar on Steam one day. Was Skyrim ever a dollar? Is that a thing? It's like a dollar, like two dollars, and I bought Skyrim because I was like, why not? Like That's the price of like a candy bar for one of the best games, in many people's opinions. Uh, made in the last recent few years. But, yeah, I still haven't played Skyrim. I want to. I don't know if I should... If I do Skyrim, I don't know if I should do it blind. Like, if I should... Just record it blind and... Obviously unmodded. No mods. Even though mods are very popular with Skyrim. I wouldn't know what to install and what not to install. And even if I took recommendations, like, I don't know if my tastes are the same as yours. Like, there's Minecraft players who love Faithful 64, and I think Faithful 64 ruins Minecraft. I will not watch anyone play Minecraft if their texture pack is Faithful 64. Because it just... Like, I've done sprite art professionally, I've done pixel art, and when people take pixel art and try and, like, res it up, it always... <laughs> it often doesn't look good. And when I look at Faithful 64, I'm just like, why? You had perfectly good sprite art, and you tried to turn it into 64 by 64 textures, and you just ruined it. So, you know. I But Faithful 64 is, like, one of the most popular... It's not a mod, really. It's a texture pack. But it's one of the most popular things that people go out and get when they get Minecraft, and I just don't... That's a rare door. You don't see that door too often. I don't see the appeal of Faithful 64 at all. So... Back to Skyrim. T to follow the last five minutes of conversation, you have to have played or watched Minecraft, played Skyrim, and I don't know, <laughs> a lot of, a lot of games. Whoop. Okay, this is where I want to lay down some dirt. Where's my dirt? Oh, I also heal. I didn't notice my health was that low. But yeah, so anyway, Skyrim, I think I might I might play it someday, might play it soon. But I really I don't know if I should play it blind, if I should how I should approach it. I've already been here. Why did I come back here? 
I would really love a Nazar from what one, one of the reasons I'm here doing all this is, is to get a Nazar. I think I've got Nazars just like in chests, so maybe I don't need one. But it'd certainly be a handy thing to just find. There's a water uh, candle. Yeah, this light disc has helped a ton. Even if it's just the one. There's another water bolt. Nasty is not better than our current options, which are superior and demonic. Debatable which one is better between the two. I'm taking a beating. All these spike traps that are around. And me trying to get loot, like, dying because I'm trying to get two silver. But wow, this area, like, there's not even a blue candle out and there's a ton of stuff going on. Hasty Cobalt Shield. Shadow Orb is not bad, except we already have better. Guess I'll take the chest too. Yeah, so if I do if I do play Skyrim, I know that mods are a big part of the game, but I, I just don't see myself being able to utilize them without knowing like why I'm playing Skyrim, like what I personally am going to get out of the game. Kind of like that Clothier. So I think one of the things I've learned most recently in Terraria is that the Clothier Voodoo doll, uh, unlike the Guide Voodoo doll, it doesn't break when you use it. Like if you equip it to yourself, I don't actually know if either of them break. Like. If you equip a voodoo doll... <coughs> Excuse me. Pardon me for that. Let's see, where am I going? If you equip a guide voodoo doll as an accessory, or a clothier voodoo doll, and then you go, like, stab the heck out of the clothier, I think that the... like, the... NPC in question will die... But since you didn't throw it into lava, you still have the voodoo doll. So you don't need like a million... I thought I had keys. I, I definitely have keys on me, don't I? Maybe not. All right, take a, or a murderous, that's not bad. I don't think the murderous is better than, no, it's not. It's pretty much like a worse demonic. I guess I shouldn't wait around here for a key. I was thinking about it, but... Not worth it. Thought I had a lot of keys on me. I guess I didn't. I'll put away the Molotovs. I'll save them for like the destroyer fight or something. That is one thing that went a little bit better the last recording se session was I found a ton of keys, like, right away. I'm really surprised that I'm not seeing a Nazar. Certainly had ample opportunity for one. That's a bathtub, not a bed. I'd probably dig up a bed if I could. Beds are nice in Terraria. Alright, where am I going? Here, I think? There's a bed. And now I'm gonna dishonor what I just said by not digging it up. Okay, this way. Try not to die. A 
ton of chests right here. Still no keys. There we go. Dungeon slime. Good job. I'm immune to curse, so I don't need to be, like, super worried about these guys, but I do need to not... Rather not die. It's a lot of platinum. I don't know if that was my doing or the games. Have to remember that the crimson chest is over there. Is there gonna be a golden key in? Yeah, these are almost always the golden keys. Oh, and there's an aglet. Means we can make lightning boots. And having reforged that to armor gold will have been a complete waste of time. My inventory is full, but I definitely have some garbage that I can, like, throw away. Still pick up keys, right? Okay. Alright, let's make this kind of like a base camp a little bit. Oh, so many of these guys. Alright, this will be base camp if we don't die. <laughs> okay, we don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need. Concentrating because my health is low. Don't know why it just now occurred to me that to like quick stack a bunch of stuff. A beamination is nice. I kinda want everything that's in that chest. Wow, he, he moved really oddly there. Maybe it was just me. Seemed like he, like, dodged. <laughs> and then there's another chest, like, right here. Don't really need the other anglet of the wind, but whatever. Hey, potions. All right. Buy yourself a little bit of inventory management time. You know what I probably should have bought with that... With that 40 gold was a... Uh, a piggy... or a safe. All right, I'm out of keys again. I'm gonna trudge along. There's a key. Hey, mechanic rod. Glad I got that. And some bait. Isn't it nice how you find a mechanic's rod and some lightning bugs in the chest? I think it's nice. That's another uh, thing that I think is a nice little feature of this custom map. It's finding... Whoa! King statue I kind of want. Just enough inventory room to pick it up. What is this nonsense? This isn't... This isn't right. Wow, those are some big chunks. That might be two. I can't mine it. I can't mine it. I don't have the... I need a... Okay, so I need to come back here. Now this I remembered was here. Th like, I can't pretend to be surprised about this because I remembered it was here. But I can't mine it because I don't have a better pickaxe yet. But I'll have to, I'll have to remember to come back here. Let's see if there's some pink dungeon up this way. Oh, that's right, I, might, I, I dug up my bed. So we're back here. That's fine, we have so much inventory management stuff to do that being back here is fine. It's a good place to end the episode. We've gone a little over time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, next time we'll come back, we'll... 
I don't know, probably no more dungeon for now. I think we'll try and get, figure out like what we can make with what we have and do some cool stuff. I actually have no, I have no idea what we're going to do next time, but we'll, we'll keep trying to explore. So thanks for watching. See you next time.